Hello, I'm back again to more Bitwig Controller Talk. I get quite often the question about how do these remote control pages work? How do I edit the parameters of my devices? And it's actually not that simple. So I guess that's also why a lot of people are wondering about this. So I thought I'd do a little video about how that all works. So I loaded up here a polysynth on a track and you see already there is some mapping happened automatically to my controller. So the red one is always the first uh, knob that it's mapped to and I can edit it nicely. And this is also organized in some kind of pages. So I can move to the second page and also the first knob is now controlling the pitch of the second oscillator of the polysynth. So the parameters are always organized in pages of eight parameters. It can be nine. I will talk about this later on. And you can edit all these pages for the all the devices that come with Bitwig. All those parameters are already mapped for you. But if you load up, for example, a completely new VST instrument, there will be no mapping there. So let's have a look how that works. If we click onto that one, it says show remote controls and then we see those pages. So we see the currently selected page. This is now the oscillator two page. And as you see, if I change it to my controller, it also changes changes in Bitwig so we see what is currently selected. And if you click here on this headline there is a drop down bar and there you also see all the available pages currently and you also have the option to add a new page. This can also be seen and done in a more nicely way if you click on this uh, icon which opens an editor for all those pages. And the pages we currently have are visible down there and up there there is also the option to have preset pages. So what is the difference between those two? So device pages, if you store these, if you edit them and store them, they will be there all the time if you open up, for example, Polysyn. So I have do a modification, add the pages of Polysyn, store it. I open up a Polysynth in any project, it will have exactly that setting. But it's not something you would like to have all the time. Sometimes you want to have just create specific mappings with some favorite knobs you want to use, for example, in a life situation or for a specific song, then you can create a page up here and just say, uh, I store this with a preset. So you can call up the preset and then you will also have that setting. So you can do editing as I said to that, for example, if I say I want to have the common page always to be the first one, which makes more sense than oscillator one because it has nicely here the frequency and the resonance, I can just drag and drop them around and reorganize them. And don't forget to click then on save and apply. And now the next time I call up my policy, it will have that page first. There is now something we should have a quick look at, which is a little bit weird. Uh, there is normally it's eight, but you can also have nine. The only page I know with nine is the envelope of the policy. And to do so, you can click on the title and say allow nine slots. And then you have nine slots to map there as well. I don't know what the idea of that is because all the controllers have eight normally and not nine. And then you have to scroll inside of the page. It's a little bit weird. So I highly suggest not to use that and it's also no way to go back to 8 so hopefully it did not get stored let's get rid of the policy and let's try that again call up the editor again and luckily we're back to 8 and if you don't want to have here the output here in the ninth you can always drag and drop you need to click here and so you can drag them around. You can also drag them around between the different pages. So I just put it here on the first one and have an output there available as well and click on apply and then this change will also be present the next time I open up a policy. So how do I actually map parameters? I will show that on a different device. I loaded up here a Zebra HZ from UE, which is a VST. And most of the VSTs don't come with a mapping. Bitwig has some ready mappings for some well-known plugins, but not for all of them. So if we open up here the remote control pages, you see there is nothing in there. So we open up the editor and say we want to create a new one. And now it's fully 
totally up to you what you want to assign if you only want to have some favorites uh, or if you want to create lots of pages with different names you are free to do so and to do so you just click here in the field and say for example i want to map here the cutoff and i click on that and then cutoff is mapped to my first controller knob and if i move the knob it changes nicely i can also use the user interface to do so for example if i click yeah, whatever, um, I can map anything. Let's say transpose, fine tune, then it turns up here. And then I can also map that knob as well and go on like this. And I can also name this page. So for example, this is the common page I can call it. And yeah, you are free to do so. There is also another feature which is worth mentioning. You can also enter tags for this page. For example, you can say this is common again or if you would have an envelope you can say i use an envelope i think the idea of that is that you can have a controller for example if the controller has dedicated controls for editing an envelope you could then automatically get these parameters but the number of these controllers is very rare for example my x station from the Vation could do something like this and sadly there is no specific list for that so if you would have a list which say okay i have envelope is always the name for an envelope then it would make a little bit more sense and maybe then we could support something like this in a script but currently I think this feature makes not that much sense. So this was now a mapping of one to one so one parameter controls one parameter in your device but you can also use macros which means you can map one knob to multiple items. To do so you need to insert a macro first so you open up that one and you click here on a plus for the zebra hz plugin now and you can say macro there are two versions there is a single macro or you can directly use four if you need more than one but you can also insert the single ones multiple times so it's free what you want to do and to do so you click here on this arrow with a dot and then you can change now multiple different parameters and if you change then the macro knob all those parameters will change at once if you modify the knob and what you now can do is also to map this knob onto your controller page but what you will notice is if you click here this knob is not mappable why is that the case uh, the case is because uh, the device pages are always as I said available if you load up a new instance of that VST or Bitwig instrument and since I put in here a specific macro which the normal general VST does not know about out, this is not working so if I want to map that I need to use instead a preset page because preset pages are always stored with the current preset and then it makes sense that I can map it so let's try that out so let's have here it's already called perform which makes some sense because I want to perform with that and then I can click on mapping that and now as you see the macro can be mapped and if I move now my controller knob here I'm changing all those parameters as well from my controller so so pretty pretty powerful feature to use another thing i wanted to show is you can also use poly after touch this is also a little bit of a hidden feature how you get there you need to use here the macro expressions and expressions has one option here which is called pressure so this is poly after touch and poly after touch for example is available here on my push controller and i can map this also to anything i like let's say i want want to have that on a filter one which makes some sense I think and if I then do the pressure here on my instrument oh I did not map that I need to map it first so now I have mapped it and now if I press the aftertouch you will see it will get modified by aftertouch okay so a little overview about uh, remote control pages and if you want to see how those remote controls pages are navigated and used onto the hardware check out the, my multiple tutorials i did about uh, push controller launch pads and all these things because they have different combinations of buttons how you can access this functionality okay and besides that when you dig how to do that modulate the hell out of it and make some funky music Music